Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here, and today I thought we would talk about the X-Men. Jonathan Hickman is leaving the X-Men, and of course, all the internet is a buzz over this. Um, so the question has come up, should Chris Claremont return to the X-Men? And I say yes. Now, full disclosure here is uh, I haven't read really much of the Jonathan Hickman X-Men. I did read some of it, but um, I haven't read a ton of modern comics. Um, to be honest with you, the the X-Men for me is anything during the Chris Claremont era, so I might be a little biased. So putting that out there right away. But I thought we'd discuss some of the pros and cons and the whys and wherefores of if, is it even possible for Chris Claremont to come back? So much has changed. Um, he wrote the X-Men for 17 years straight, um, had differences with Bob Harris, the editor at the time. Um, I feel like he was completely disrespected by Bob Harris. I mean, he's the godfather of the X-Men. You know, he is responsible for creating the personalities and the stories that we love the stories that are being rehashed to this day. I mean, um, I feel like anyone after Chris Claremont is definitely standing on his shoulders and he deserves so much respect and so much um, credit for basically creating the legend of the X-Men mythos. I mean, um, you know, it's hard for... One of the reasons it's hard for me to uh, read the X-Men by anyone else besides Chris Claremont is because... I feel like he just basically invented them and put his stamp on them and created in my mind like their voice, uh, their personality traits, the way they act, the way they interact with each other, their interpersonal relationships. I mean, you have the friendship of Logan and Kitty, uh, Logan and Storm, Kitty and Storm, their relationships. I mean, uh, you know, Storm and Peter, uh, you know, they have like a very like uh, older sister, younger brother kind of relationship. I mean, he put the characters through the mill, you know, I mean, he definitely, I mean, uh, you know, the Dark Phoenix saga, Days of Future Past. I mean, some of that, of course, was with John Byrne. But let's not take away from uh, Chris Claremont's contribution to that because after John Byrne left, Claremont continued for years and years and had many, many highs and great points with other amazing artists on the series. Um, so when he left, uh, he left the X-Men in the early 90s after Jim Lee like just brought the book you know, to like stratospheric popularity with his amazing art. And I feel like uh, Chris Claremont was sort of waylaid a little bit by Bob Harris in favor of, you know, looking more towards the needs of Jim Lee, which the joke, of course, was on Bob Harris and ultimately um, Marvel Comics because, you know, it led to um, Chris Claremont leaving the book and Jim Lee took over for a while um, you know, with other writers in tow, like even John Byrne came on to script um, after Claremont left uh, off of Jim Lee's plots. And, um, but then, of course, famously, Jim Lee quickly, you know, joined the other magnificent, marvelous seven to form Image Comics and, you know, abandon the X Men and leaving them sort of high and dry. So, you know, I think that adds extra salt to the wound of what happened to Claremont and sort of like ruining his run. I mean, Claremont did return uh, to the X-Men. Um, you know, uh, he did that with Lanel Francis Yu and um, Alan Davis. And I don't know, I feel like it just sort of broke up the momentum and it kind of wasn't the same the second time around. I mean, I don't want to take away anything from Chris Claremont as a writer because I do love him, but I think I would have much preferred like um, to see him continue to develop his storylines and see where he was going. I mean, that'd be kind of unprecedented for one man to sort of drive the ship the whole time. And there may have been some good stories after Claremont left. There may have been some good eras. I mean, people are quite fond of Jonathan Hickman. 
Uh, I'm not a big fan. Like, it all seems strange to me with the Krakoa and the Met Gala and blah, blah, blah. I mean, who needs that stuff, really? But um, it just seems a little gimmicky for my taste, but I don't know. I could be old and stodgy and set in my ways. Maybe I'm just too committed to the original X-Men and, you know, what Claremont brought to it. Now, Claremont, um, you know, does write the occasional X-Book. They just had the Claremont 50th anniversary book. Um, he did a great New Mutant story with, uh, you know, Bill Sankiewicz, and he's been doing things here and there. They just released the X-Men Legends uh, book and Claremont did a great story there. Personally, I, like I'm really enjoying like they just did like Peter David and Todd Nock doing X Factor and they did Louise and Walt Simonson or I'm sorry. Yeah, an X Factor as well, I guess. Um, so I love that series. I think it's great. I would love to see Chris Claremont um, reteam with other artists. I mean, personally, I think they if they're not willing to give Claremont the whole X franchise at this point, because I realize it's quite different and a lot more involved than uh, what's been going on with him. But, you know, just seeing Claremont's uh, reactions online sometimes, like, I think he's not overly thrilled with, like, the direction that the X-Men are going right now. And I, I'm just so curious. I would love to see what he would do with them, how he could reclaim his characters that he created. And... You know, honestly, like, give give the future, you know, more stories to copy and um, uh, reimagine because it feels like, so, like Phoenix has been done to death and just so many different, you know, storylines and paths created by Claremont um, have been revisited, uh, reimagined, rehashed, done to death. I mean, give us something new. Um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, I feel like they're always throwing Claremont a bone, you know, like giving him books like X-Men Forever or Extreme X-Men and things like that, which is perfectly fine. But, you know, give him some more, um, give him more skin in the game. Give him, give him like, give him back the X-Men, I say. I mean, I know that, you know, they say you can't go home again, but hey, let's give it a try. I mean, the state of the X-Men is so crazy lately anyway that I don't think it could hurt at this point. Do you? I mean, would you guys love to see Chris Claremont back in the X-Men? I personally would. I mean, like I said before, so many of those characters are just his characters and they need to exist within his voice or just give us one great last Claremont run, you know, just let him come in there and play with his characters and just give the fans a thrill. I mean, I'm sure there are people who are, would be detractors and against it and say, it's like, you shouldn't go there again, but I say you should. Chris Claremont has not really left the X-Men. Um, or I mean, I should say Marvel. Um, I believe he, like, they say that he, and I think he said as much himself, is that he's paid very nicely not to write comics. And I think that that is the crime of the century. So basically what that means is that he's on a retainer or he gets a salary. I don't know if he has a contract. He probably has a contract. Some sort of creative director kind of thing. I know he had that title in the past. I'm not sure what his current title is, if he even has one, or if they just cut him a check basically to keep him exclusive. Like, they don't want him writing X-Men and a bunch of books for Marvel, but they don't want him writing for anybody else, and I think that's completely unfair. I mean, that would be like, I don't know, paying the Rolling Stones not to make a new album. Like, what are you thinking, Marvel? I mean, it just smacks to me one of the many millions of r things that the comic industry does to shoot themselves in the foot. Chris Claremont is... Uh, you know, still around. He's amazing. He's, you know, still got it. And I think he's got a lot left to say. And I would love to see him sort of, you know, he's not getting any younger. So I say that this would be the perfect opportunity. Hopefully it gains some traction. Hopefully this video helps spread the word. I would love to get the narrative going that we need Chris Claremont back on the X-Men 
and it's completely unfair that he has just paid not to write. You know, I am thrilled that we get the anniversary issues and X-Men Legends and little nuggets here and there, but I want something really substantial. I want to hear what Chris Claremont has to say in 2021 about the X-Men, everyone's beloved X-Men. I mean, if you like the X-Men, it is basically because of Chris Claremont. Um, because every writer who has come after him has definitely rode his coattails and, you know, used what he laid bare before. So that's my little rant. What do you guys think? Uh, please feel free to comment. Let me know, like, if it's, is it a good idea that Chris Claremont would come back to the X-Men? Is it a bad idea? I'm basically, I, I don't know if I'm basing it on nostalgia or just desire. Um, I just feel like he has a lot left to say. I think there, there's storylines that could be revisited. I would love to see, you know, what, how he feels about Logan now and just the way he would treat the interpersonal relationships that he developed. And I mean, Kitty is definitely, I feel like a character close to his heart and she's changed so much. So I would kind of like to see him give his take on her and see where his head is at on where her head is at. So is this the best idea ever? Is it the worst idea ever? I don't know. Sadly, it probably will not happen. It feels like there's so many politics. I mean, a sidebar here, uh, John Byrne has been doing X-Men fan fiction, basically what would have happened had Phoenix lived and had he stayed on the book for free on his website, burnrobotics.com. I almost wish we had something like that of Chris Claremont, like if he was just writing fan fiction. I mean, I definitely, you know, Byrne's killing it on the pencils, the stories, a little off here and there, but it's still so much fun to see. And I think that Chris Claremont is just a legend. Everyone knows who he is. He's still alive for crying out loud. Do not miss this opportunity, Marvel. Please give the man a chance and give him, like I said, high stakes. Give him the main X-Men book. Give the fans something to be excited about. You know, don't be ageist. Don't be whatever, don't, you know, poo-poo on the past and say, been there, done that, because the way they rehash so many storylines, I feel like the only person who could bring something fresh is the person who brought us those rehashed storylines to begin with. I mean, if those storylines are worth repeating over and over again for years and years and years after Chris Claremont has left, then why not see what he can do today? Like I said, just give him a year on the X-Men, give him two years, whatever. See what the man has to say. Let him, I don't know, have some sort of comeuppance. He deserves it. Like I said, he was so disrespected and treated poorly by Bob Harris, um, which led to him leaving the X-Men. And I think that Marvel has the opportunity to do right by him. Uh, financially, I'm sure they are doing right by him. You know, I know that, you know, he's made... Um, a few shiny nickels uh, from his contribution to the X-Men mythos over the years. And that's great. That's fine. But we're talking about, you know, um, lineage and uh, sort of status and respect. I'm just, if nothing else, out of respect, give Chris Claremont something that's not an anniversary, not a revision, just something new. I want to hear what he has to say. I mean, he has life, he has 17 years of writing the X-Men prior to his leaving, plus whatever he's written since then. So we're talking decades and decades of history, uh, creating half the characters that exist that we know and love. And, uh, you know, I, I want to see what he has to say now. I think it would be really exciting and really cool. And, you know, just don't make it a throwaway. Make it high stakes. Get people excited about it. Be good to your creators. Be good to your fan base. Give them something they want. What do you say, guys? Should Chris Claremont return to the X-Men? I say yes. Please let me know what you think. Thanks for listening. Um, please subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to you guys later. All right, thanks.